For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. What's up, everybody? Yes, we're going to talk about Brad Schoenfeld's Max Muscle Plan. Let's go, let's go. did the entire plan and just wanted to share a couple of things that were helpful and maybe some reasons why you should do the plan and if you're gonna do the plan we really recommend picking up the book because there are a lot of intangibles that we're not going to communicate in a three-minute video <laughs> that you're gonna really benefit from yeah. if you're newer to training if you're very experienced there may not be as much for you but we thought it was awesome one of my favorite parts about the book was just in one source you had so much about nutrition, exercise that I didn't know before that really helped me understand and put confidence in the program personally. And so like any program, adherence is probably one of the biggest factors that you really need to do a program. If you're not going to actually consistently do the program, then it doesn't matter how good the program is. So reading the book, buying the book, going through all that really reinforced the, the desire to adhere to the program. Yeah, so what about you? What do you think some of that really helped you out? Yeah, definitely like when I got the book, I was like, because originally he got it actually for my dad for his birthday or something like that. It was Christmas. It was Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know, I wasn't like, super, we were working out before that, like doing like, you know, pull-ups and things like that. Not super major stuff. Um, and my dad um, had it and, and I looked at it and I was like wow and I just kept I was like reading through it and I was just, like so intrigued and it, it definitely having the you know having it um, and seeing all this stuff like the nutrition and all the, all the plans and all the workout different workouts you could do it was definitely like just motivating to so, get you know get on it go yeah so this program we won't go into it too much but it's laid out in the block periodization like form so you have block for your focusing on hypertrophy blocks where you're focusing on strength, blocks where you're focusing more on metabolic damage. So those are just kind of to give you an example of how the program is structured. And in it, I know that in the program, I gained about 20 pounds. Granted, I I was so skinny when I started that it was probably more legitimate, like 10 pounds, because I, I had not been eating for a little while. And so, um, for good reasons, not because I was depressed or anything. <laughs> I was fasting. I was fasting. I was just seeking God and fasting. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, so I, I saw some progress strength wise. I actually competed at a meet in the middle of the hypertrophy phase or at the end of the strength phase or something like that. No, we extended, right. the, we extended the strength yeah. phase and did the uh, pilot the meet, and I got a PR on squat and bench for meat PR anyway, which, I mean, there's still MC Twig numbers. <laughs> MC Twig is, is my state right now. MC Twig, I'm 128 pounds right now. Um, but either way, it was just good to get PRs on this program. And when I wasn't really training like a, like a power lifter, so that was cool. Which I guess when you're this small, you just need to build muscle and not focus too much on powerlifting type training. But anyway, and then this guy, he definitely had some increases. Like, Do you remember what your increases were numbers-wise? Or I think I wasn't even squatting like for three, like one... 135 and then i was squatting like 285 you know for for one or two or three or something yeah. something like that i can't was, remember the yeah. exact numbers but it it was subs you know it was a lot yeah and he has a really strong chest too so you was benching like you're doing like 205 for reps or three or something like that i was doing i did i know for sure i did 245 at one point for one i think yeah. dang i think 235 or two okay something like that nice yeah, so the program, honestly, we just really enjoyed it. I would seriously, if you're going to do the program, definitely get the book. Unless you are 100% committed either way, and whenever you pick a program, you always stick it out to the end because it's a six-month program. So you're going to have to be committed and really believe in the program for six months. One thing nice about this program is it switches things up pretty consistently. I think on a week-to-week -week basis, there's always yeah. something different. Yeah. Um, either whether it be the, the training split or even like rest periods and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There's always something different which really help to yeah. kind of keep things fresh and exciting. So yeah. anyway, hopefully that helps you out. Stay hungry. Let's go. No matter, no matter if it's been a year since you uploaded and you're back, <laughs> stay, hungry. <laughs> stay hungry. Stay hungry. And we'll see you guys next time.
For this is the good and acceptable and... What? Sorry, sorry. What? Sorry, pause. What? Pausing. Hey, guys. 